Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video showing you the common faults on a VHS VCR but this is also um, applicable to Betamax and V2000 and everything else they have roughly the same sort of internals um, this is a uh, Sanyo model from around the late 90s, 2000s some older models will have belts and things like that I can't show you on this model because this one's not a belt driven model um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around the machine and then I'm going to talk about common faults and where the fault originates so the first thing you see here this is our head drum normally if you've got a bad picture this head drum is to blame what you need to do for this fault if your picture's bad is either use a cleaning tape or follow my other guide that shows you how to clean the video heads it's very simple you take your top off the video machine like we've got now and you use paper and slowly rotate the head see these little black specks these are actually the video heads themselves because they're flying heads see the little black specks just here where my fingers pointing sorry my nails are a little bit long um, but yeah that's if you got bad picture now a lot of faults that I hear people say is my machine is spewing tape or it's not rewinding or it's not putting the tape back into my cassette properly now this 90% of the time is down to two faults most of the time it is down to your idler mechanism which is this thing here this is what drives your wheels from a motor and this has to engage on onto here let me use my other hand sorry for the shaky cab and if you see it will turn the wheel if you're hearing like a noise like this oh, see if we can get it to do it it's not going to do it like a grinding noise it could mean that this is damaged or that it's not um, putting the tape away properly sorry there you go you can see it a little better now uh, but when in play this thing flips across and engages onto the right hand side to drive the um, take up spool and when it goes into reverse it's got to flick across boop into there now this moves when you move the capstan which is another thing that I will show you shortly um, another fault uh, where you're getting the problems with your tape getting caught up if it's not the idler it's going to be more than likely that it's your pinch roller that's worn now this little chap here this is our pinch roller as you can see from this I don't know if you you can tell well, that's a pretty decent pinch roller. Um, it's not too shiny, it's not too dull, there's no muck or anything on it. Um, what you can do if you think it's your pinch roller, you can pop this out, usually by taking a little thing out the top, and this will pull off this thing. You can take an emery board, that's what the lid is used to file the nails, right? And you can rough this up. Also, what you can do with this is for you can get them for car interiors. It's called rubber restorer. Now, what that does, it soaks into the rubber and makes the rubber slightly more pliant, so it's more grippy, which is what you want because this little thing engages onto this here. This is the capstan. So this engages onto the capstan and moves the tape forward along with the um, take up spool which is here so if this is not engaging or it's sticking your tapes gonna get stuck up around here if it's not putting the tape back inside the tape uh, the actual cassette itself that's definitely going to be your idler or you've got greasy heads and it's stuck on the heads so check your heads make sure your heads are clear and check your idler mechanism now some idlers which is remember this little guy down here um, will have grease on after a while this grease gets worn away so if you've got a sticky idler gear and it's not doing it you can apply some a quick fix which most people have 
in the house is some penetrating spray uh, we call it WD-40 in England but you can put some penetrating spray on there and that will uh, enable the gears to move more freely and hopefully fix your problem of the tape not getting put back into the cassette um, if you've got no motion at all or the video just shuts off and it won't play one thing to check is to take the oops sorry to take the capstan and try and move it with your hand if it freely moves and you can feel the wheel spinning underneath then that's fine that's what it wants to go if this post closest to the pinch roller that the pinch roller goes onto is not moving that means you've got a problem with your capstan either you've got a sticky belt if it's a belt driven machine or you've got some sort of corrosion or something in there again Corrosion wise again take there's a little there's a little clip pop the clip off put some penetrating fluid down the spine of this get it all worked in then and then clean this off with kitchen roll you don't want any grease left on this exposed shaft you want it down inside the player so that this can move freely and spin another fault that we can talk about is you've just bought a vintage VCR and it won't power up or it doesn't do anything when you turn it on or there's a loud bang or anything what you're going to be wanting to look at now is your power setup now this machine's power setup is here these little things are capacitors and these are what you're going to be looking for these capacitors have a life expectancy of around 15 to 20 years um, some if they were manufactured poorly a lot less so what you're gonna do is you're gonna test all these capacitors and look at them now when they go bad sometimes they will blow or pop out and you see these little lines let me try and focus for you a little better the little lines that are on it um, they will be up this will be bulged now as you can see these aren't uh, but there's still a chance it's bad, but this is not something that you can do um, yourself for most people. Um, what you need to do is get somebody to recap it. But you, you can have a look through, there's a lot of capacitors, just check them all visually. Normally that's a good indication if the capacitors are good or bad. If they have blown, they will need to be replaced. If one's blown, shotgun the whole thing. Re redo every... every um, every capacitor that you can see so yeah they're your more common faults if people are finding these interesting I can try and create faults and show you um, again what to do so I'll have a little spin round the machine and give you a little recap on what we've gone over and then I'll sign off so common faults idle gear this is an idler, this is what moves these two take up reels rewind, it wants to be over here and engaged onto this play and forward, engaged and onto this head drum, if it's dirty, give that a clean using the other video pinch roller, make sure it's not too shiny, make sure it's pliant, make sure it's taking the um, tape forward and not sticking if it is sticking, take it off file it down with the emery board use some rubber restorer to give that an extra bit of life or replace if you can find a replacement part capstan make sure it's freely turning if not WD-40 penetrating fluid down the shaft clean it that's good for that and your capacitors if you've got no power at all obviously check that you've got a fuse in the machine this one hasn't I don't think oh no we do have a fuse in this machine but check your fuse if your fuse is good you can use a um, multimeter to test for continuity across that um, and check your capacitors to make sure you've got no capacitors blown any comments or if you need any help you can find me usually on the facebook groups and uh, i'll be more than happy to talk you through um, more things on there but uh, hopefully that helps a few people and I'll see you next time guys bye